Hey guys, it's Maggie from Rock Paper Copy. In this video, I want to talk to you about Shopify image size and what kind of size is best for Shopify images. Welcome to Rock Paper Copy, best place for Shopify store owners to learn about SEO, getting traffic and sales. So as we know, you really need a right Shopify image size to make sure that your website isn't overloaded and that it loads really fast without really compressing each image individually. You really want to avoid using huge image file sizes, especially if you've got plenty of product images or video sliding images and so on. So your customers will struggle to load pages, especially product pages, which will deter them from buying an Obviously, it will also affect your SEO because slow loading website isn't user friendly and user experience is very important for Google. So what kind of image sizes are we looking for? When it comes to products, the best image size to stick to is 600 pixels up to 800 pixels, not going over 800 pixels, because even if you've got a zoom, this is perfectly enough for people to to see the detail of the product. So up to 800 pixels, this is not too demanding for your website and this is a great size. When it comes to hero images, obviously you need slightly bigger files. So I do recommend going up to 1500 for the width and the height up to 1000 pixels, but it also can be slightly shorter, obviously to save on the above default area. When it comes to favicon, the recommended size, as I remember, in Shopify is 35 pixels by 35 pixels, so just a small square. However, if you are designing to it, designing it with Canva, the smallest size you can create in Canva is 100 pixels on 100 pixels. So you have to create that 100 on 100 and then resize it using your own computer program or using other resizing tool. And remember to upload images like logos, favicons with transparent background so they don't stick out with like white background. If you've got a green website and suddenly you've got a white background square on your logo, this looks very unprofessional. So remember to always pick or select the transparent background for your logo and for your favicon as well. And when it comes to your logo, I do recommend going up to 300 pixels, but you can easily resize it or you can easily change change the display in Shopify, but don't design any bigger logo than that. If you love this video, smash the like button now and subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular Shopify and SEO tips. Now check those two videos recommended for you here to watch next to learn about running a successful online business, driving free traffic and sales. I'll speak with you soon. Bye-bye.